Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are going to be going over some more Lua in this tutorial and let's just delete this ACF script because it is unneeded and therefore we're not going to be using it. Anyways, so well, we're going to create a new array here and the array is just going to have some random crap. I don't know what it's going to do, but yeah. So we're going to be learning about two things here. One, two number and two string. Well, that could technically be considered two, but we're also going to be learning about, uh, more about tables, pretty much. And, yeah, so it's going to be coming to in one episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, so, function, uh, something. Uh, uh well, what should we do in something? Uh, let me think. Alright, so... Oh, alright, so, table.insert. And, just let me look at the syntax of it real quick. Insert, alright. So, anyways... What this is going to do is, it's going to add, um, wait, I just need to this. So, basically, x is the list, uh, and then v, the value. So, what this does is, it's going to add to the last index, v. Uh, and you can specify which index, actually, as a middle parameter right here, uh, which I'm referring to the first index. However, that is not always necessary in that. I mean that's optional. That's what I'm getting at. And then you could also do table dot uh, remove x. Uh, wait. X and whatever position. I mean, I mean delete the first element of x and then print number x. Number x. So there's three elements. Or wait, is this even running? Nope. We need to call something. Three, then two. So, and we could actually uh, create a for statement to do so if we really wanted to, which will create four indexes saying v. And, you know, there you have it. But we're not quite done yet. I think there are a lot more table functions that I have n that I don't really use, but I believe exist, like table.concat, where, wherein it, I think it will elevate. I don't know. So, yeah. And table dots for each. There's a lot of things you can do with tables. I believe there's also sorts. Um... But you could sort them and stuff. I actually don't really know much about tables myself, but I need to learn more about this stuff because why? Why am I even to do a tutorial if I don't quite know everything about Lua? Um, but I haven't done it in a while, so I digress. But anyways, so now we're also gonna do something here. So what we're gonna do is detect type, and basically what it's going to do is you have to pass it in an array because I don't know, I'm just too lazy here. Uh, so a uh, two. So basically. A to uh, uh, true. So basically, you have to pass in param. But all right. So if param if two number param uh, is not equal to param, then wait. Yeah, okay, so, it'll, it'll return 2, which is number, else if, uh, 2 number param is param, then, basically, there's gonna be another if statement here, so, if 2 string, so, if 2 string param equals equals, true for two string param equals equals false then right and so so basically if you get the string of the param and it's true or false and the fact that and two string param not equal to param, then turn one boolean, 
and else return zero string and you know so let's uh print uh let's do four idols uh, one uh, number x do print um print the tech type x uh, so yeah 202 and this is I don't even know why I'm really doing this exactly but 20 so apparently the second thing what okay this this does not make sense so so if two number param is not equal to param and param isn't equal to true param is equal to false so that should give a more what what okay I'm confusing myself here two number param is not equal to param so uh, a is not equal to a Oh wait. And what? All right, now we have it right. So one, two, one. There you go. We have the whole thing right here. Sorry, I, I just confused myself there real quick, and I don't even think I really needed this. I want to see. Uh, but it should be pretty obvious what that does. Um, it basically converts from a number to a um it basically two number converts uh true to a number and uh i think i believe that printing two number x3 oh whoops close that would print no I no never mind Sorry, that was kind of a stupid thing. I thought it would print, uh, one, because it's a boolean, but whatever. I guess that won't really work, but x2, I mean x1, that will try to parse a number, but it will fail because it's a, it's a letter, so that won't work, hence it ending up nil. Uh, however, if we put, like, 125, it will parse 125 out. And it's a bit similar to, like, parse int and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. So, and this, likewise, this can work with, uh, strings. So, it could, it could turn x2 into a string. And there you have it. It, that should, that will work. Um, and, And just for the hell of it, let's do this at the end. And zero will come out of that, which means it became a string, because that will detect if it's a string or not. And I actually kind of like this, this system. I might actually uh, use that for more things. I don't know. Um, but that will basically get the type, and in the next episode, well, I don't even know what I'm going to do, but probably I'm going to work with data store and maybe even data persistence just for the hell of it, and core out team. There's still a lot to go over, so I hope you all enjoy, and see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.